What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with brand new WWE action figure news for you guys on the horizons, man. I think we do have actually a new gallery being posted here in the next few days uh, or before November's over. So within the next nine days or so, we're going to get a new gallery with new figure reveals and new figure photos and things of that nature. I don't know what all that entails. You know, I don't know what figures we're going to see exactly, but I imagine it's going to be some nice studio shots of Elite 107. We'll probably get some other things trickled in there, maybe some other waves, maybe some Ultimate Editions all those different things, man. So I'm really looking forward to that. So just know in the next nine days, we'll have another big photo gallery talk, you know, and we'll get on here and cover all the news as well, man. But today we're going to be discussing something that kind of came out a few days ago or a, like a, maybe a week ago now, I think, but I never made a full-fledged video on it. And I want to talk about it here on the channel and just kind of discuss everything about it and dive into it, man. So with that being said, let's dive into it, man. Today, we do have some WWE Ultimate Edition news for you guys. Now, everybody knows that this, the past couple years, right? I want to say since maybe, I want to say maybe the beginning of 2022, it may have even been 2021, we do know that Mattel has been doing WWE Ultimate Edition Best Ofs or Greatest Hits Series. So they have kind of trickled this across all of their waves, right? We had the WWE Elite Greatest Hits line. We've had a couple series, three series or so of, of that figure set, right? With the different figures from old being re-released with updated technology, updated head sculpts, different things of that nature. And then we go to Target Exclusive in the Legends line. They're doing the same exact thing, re-releasing previous figures of WWE Legends that are Target Exclusive in Greatest Hits form. So they said, why the hell not, Brad? Let's carry that over. I think, I want to say Ultimates came first, then a regular Elites, like the Greatest Hits line, then the Legends Elite line, like the Greatest Hits Legends line. However, stepping it up. And then, of course, you do know they have been doing WWE Ultimate Edition Greatest Hits Waves or Best of Waves. And I think we're on Series number three of that, or maybe Series four of that. I know we did Ultimate Warrior in Austin. I think we did Brett and Triple H. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a new set of Greatest Hits figures to go along with some other stuff, if you guys don't know. In WWE Ultimate Edition Series 20, they replaced Bray Wyatt with The Undertaker. So technically, that's another best of figure. That, that is another best of Ultimate Edition getting plugged into WWE Ultimate Edition Series number 20. But the new stuff that we have today, man, is talking about the next greatest hits line. And the next greatest hits or best of WWE Ultimate Edition seems to be the first figure. There's two different figures here. Let's dive into the first one. The first figure is going to be Charlotte Flair. Yes, Charlotte Flair getting a re-release or a greatest hits slash best of Series Ultimate Edition action figure. Figure. Her first go around was fantastic, and you know what's really bummy about these greatest hits or best of Ultimate Editions is they are the exact same as they were. So they they don't do anything. I know we, with the Ultimate Warrior they did update it. I think with the Bret Hart I don't think they updated that one. At least to my knowledge. Let me know down in the comment section below if they actually did tweak the torso and stuff like that. I don't think I've bought any of the greatest hits Ultimate Editions or the best of Ultimate Edition figures. I don't think I own a single one just yet. At least to my knowledge. So I don't think this Charlotte figure is going to have any updates to it whatsoever. I do imagine they're going to take the existing Charlotte Flair and plug it in there. Now, a lot of people will tell you that that Charlotte Flair figure is probably the best, one of the better female Ultimate Editions for sure, and probably the best Charlotte figure ever made. You know, the really nice, like, coral pink gear was nice. The head sculpts were nice. Everybody loves that robe. So I do understand that, and I don't know what it goes for on the aftermarket, but most of the time, the figures that go for a hefty price aftermarket in the Ultimate Edition space are the ones that end up getting the best of series because Mattel obviously they are a business they're trying to capitalize on that money they're like okay money's out there on the aftermarket we know if we re-release these figures it won't be that much to us but people are going to buy them because they a they missed out on them b they're jumping into collecting and need to fill that hole or c you know all, all of the above Brad they really want to pump those figures out that everybody can get them so that at the end of the day they can get our money and that's not a that's not a shot that's that's literally how life works Brad they are a business we are consumers we're gonna buy those figures. Now, getting into the Charlotte figure, I mean, you know, I think this figure does go, like I said, for a hefty price. I do think that on the aftermarket, this one's been kind of one of those ones that's hung around like 100 bucks, maybe over 100 bucks. And so this is obviously, for people that missed out on that figure, it's going to fit right in there. This is a figure I never really found men on card, so I might actually grab this men on card and just keep it as my men on card Charlotte and then have my regular edition Charlotte or my Series 4 Charlotte or whatever the hell series that was, maybe Series 6. I can't remember off the top of my dome. I'm going to keep that one loose, I guess, but I don't know. Let me know what you think about the Charlotte figure getting a best of, but I think the real, like, the one that people are really going to be excited for, because it's going to have some different things about it, and you guys can let me know all these things down in the comment section below, and 
I think this figure is actually going to get the nice treatment, which we'll touch on, is going to be Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Yes, Hollywood Hulk Hogan is going to be the second figure in this Best of Ultimate Edition set. So pairing with our Charlotte is going to be Hulk Hogan. As we know, Hulk Hogan has uh, has amassed a just a crazy amount of figures, right? His Ultimate Edition count is growing by the day. I mean, I think this man has five or six Ultimate Editions. He's got elites that we're getting at the freaking nauseam. Uh, eventually, I think he's going to take over Rey Mysterio and John Cena. I think that is the case with how many figures he's getting. I mean, it is insane. I know they're very toyetic. They sell like hotcakes, so I understand it completely. And, you know, his figures do look awesome. They look just like him if you look at some of his different figures here. But this Hollywood Hulk Hogan, man, when you take the pre-existing Hollywood Hulk Hogan, right, it didn't have the right tan. It had pins in the joints. You could see the pins in the joint. Outside of that, the figure was pretty damn phenomenal. I remember review reviewing that figure and thinking, damn, this is a damn good football game. It looks really, really good. It was a great figure when it released. But now, man, I think they're going to take this guy back into the lab and they're going to work on him a little bit and they're going to re-release him and not just his standard form. I do believe they're going to take that guy back in there. They're going to update the tan like the three pack. They're probably going to give him some pinless joints because they already have the pre-existing tools. I don't think it would be that big of a deal. I think they're going to keep the same head sculpts probably. They're going to put it in that lightning Hollywood Hulk Hogan gear and they're going to have the updated tan and it's going to look so damn good, man. I think it, this figure is going to just absolutely blow us away and you guys know that with the addition of this Ultimate Edition Best of. We're getting a ton of Hulk Hogan's in at the end of 2023 going into 2024. There are so many on the table that are going to be hitting. You have the two Legends figures. You have a Legends figure that's coming. You have the two other Hulk Hogan Legends figures that are coming. You have the Hogan 3-pack that's coming. You have this Ultimate Edition. We're going to see even more going forward. So, tons and tons of Hogan to go around. But with this updated tan, with this updated technology, you guys know that they did this to the 3-pack as well. Everybody was clamoring about changing the skin tone and the torso in the 3-pack and they did that. They went back and put that Hulk, that Hulk Hogan edition elite torso into the three pack added in the skin tone and it is it is it's actually a sight to see it's kind of unbelievable on on that right there but if you guys are wondering you know what where this news come from or you know if this is legitimate or not there's actually a guy on Instagram his name is collectors uh, insider I think it is and I want to say I don't know if he works retail or maybe he I don't I don't know what the hell's going on over there man but uh, he does have insider knowledge over here and he did post this up on Instagram, and he's been right in the past, man. He has been right in the past, so that leads me to believe that this would be true, and I don't have any quarrels about this being true. I think that it makes the most sense. It makes the most sense business-wise. I think that uh, both of these figures are going to be sought after. A lot of people are going to want that Charlotte Flair. A lot of people are going to want that Hollywood Hulk Hogan, so it, w it doesn't shock me that these two are selected for the next Best Of wave, and I think you could argue it's probably the best Best Of wave. I'd really, my next one would have to be Finn Balor, the Demon Finn Balor with updated, like, torso and technology. I'd love to see an updated Finn Balor like Demon with pinless joints with the Seth Rollins like Rick Rude style torso butterfly joints so many different things you could do with Finn Balor so I'd really like to see maybe his Wrestlemania 39 Demon in Ultimate Edition form with the kendo sticks and all the different stuff with the updated torso and formula butterfly joints that would be money for me but yes Hollywood Hulk Hogan is going to be fantastic Charlotte's going to look solid but this guy if you look at the rest of this list I mean he he nailed this this was posted I think the day before Ringside Fest so that just kind of gives you an idea that he knew the SummerSlam Elites before they were fully put out to the public. He knew Elite 108. He knew Elite 109. And he is stating also that Elite 109 is going to have Cody Rhodes in it. And that is something that we haven't even been told yet. Probably uh, be shown off later on down the line. So, yeah, I think uh, I don't I don't think that this would be fake news, as they say. I don't think that would be true. I think this is absolutely legitimate. And I'd like to know down in the comment section below what you guys think. But I'm actually hyped for the Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Just getting an update of that figure. You know, we are having our own Hollywood Hulk. Hulk Hogan in the Hogan 3-pack. We're getting our Monday Night Wars Hulk Hogan right in the all-black that looks great coming in the Monday Night Wars line, which should be relatively soon, I would imagine. Uh, probably the beginning of 2024, probably January 2024. Maybe in, maybe 2023 at Christmas time. I'm not entirely sure, but I am hyped for the figures. I think both of them are going to do well, and I think a lot of people are going to want them, but it just goes back to the thing, man. Like, I don't think we're far enough into the Ultimate Edition line to really be calling for best of figures, right? Like, we've touched on this before with the Bret Hart series series in the Stone Cold Steve Austin Ultimate Warrior series. We talked about how that just doesn't, like, these figures, I feel like these figures just came out, and you would think that it would need to be years and years down the line before they get a re-release like this, similar to, like, a Legends Greatest Hits wave or an Elite Greatest Hits wave like we saw figures from years ago, right? So, I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think of all of those things down in the comment section below. Are you a fan of the best ofs? Or are you not a fan? Because I completely see both sides of it. 
I can absolutely see both sides of it and whatnot. But anyways, man, that is pretty much going to wrap up our news video for today. I'd love to know what you think of these new Ultimate Editions and where your stance is on the best of Ultimate Edition sets. Do you think they're called for? Do you like it? Do you enjoy it? I expect some people that jumped into the collecting game late to really like it, and I understand that completely. And I understand the people kind of frustrated with it, being like, man, are they just re-releasing every single figure? So I don't know, man. You guys can let me know down below. But before we get out of here, man, huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. They did get an update on the office the other day that was was awesome and we're going to be doing a patron exclusive live stream before the end of the month which should be awesome also i'm going to be getting a tattoo tomorrow that is actually going to be john cena themed so that should be fun i'll probably post that up to you guys in some way may make a video about it i don't freaking know at the time of recording this i'm literally about to leave the house to go so i don't know anyways that's gonna wrap up the video man thank you guys so very much for watching follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i will see you guys in the next video have a blessed one and i'll catch you later <laughs>